Well, good morning everyone. It is Tuesday the 6th of December. Um, obviously off fishing today. I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone that's been subscribing to my channel lately. Uh, my subscription numbers are really starting to go up, which is absolutely awesome. So a massive thank you to you guys. Um, yeah, it is currently quarter to nine in the morning. Um, I'm picking Jordan up at nine. I think Grant's picking Lee up. Uh, we're meeting our mate Kyle. We're all heading down there. We are going to Galston Pier today. We're, uh, we're having a day off from the beach. And we're just going to do a bit of pier fishing today. Uh, temperatures have really started to plummet the last few days. Um, when we're getting down to sort of four or five degrees. I know they're predicting snow either tomorrow or the day after. So that's a sign that the temperatures are falling. A uh, sign that the temperatures falling mean a sign that the, hopefully the better fish are coming in. So that's what we're going to be after today. Hopefully get a few cod out off that pier. Hopefully. Um, we picked our bait up yesterday. We went to Pownall's in town in Great Yarmouth. They're on uh, Regent Road. Uh, just want to say a massive thanks to Gary in there. Uh, me and Lee went down there. We was chatting to Gary. We got all our bait off him. I've got a couple of weights and a couple of traces for Grant. He wanted me to pick a couple of bits up for him. So we've done that. So uh, yeah, Gary, awesome guy. I spoke to him. Um, he said obviously let him know how we're getting on down there. So uh, I think he's going to watch the video. I think he's a subscriber to my channel. So he's going to uh, he's going to watch this later anyway. So yeah, so I'm just literally going to finish my cup of tea. Uh, bags are all packed. Cars are all packed. I'm literally going to finish this. Go and pick Jordan up. And then we will see you when we are down on Gawson Pier. Let's hopefully have... Let's hopefully have a good day's fishing. Right, see you down there, guys. Right, so I've just arrived where we're going to fish. It's not too bad there. It's a bit calmer over there, but it's quite a few waves, quite choppy over there. But I can see Grant and Lee, they're right up there on the bend. So we're going to be fishing up there. We've actually parked in the main car park. I know they do, I think they do charge to park in here. But obviously where we fish, we can see the cars from here. So if anyone does come, and this car park belongs to the hotel. You got the pier hotel down there. Is this all year or is it out of season or? Now I know sometimes they go like October to April, no charges, but this is all year round. And if you are paying in the summer, this is obviously quite busy and you will get a ticket. I think all day, look, it's six pound, eight at night to eight in the morning. So but obviously this time of year, Oh, you can actually get a Fisherman's Yearly Pass if you fish here a lot. £185 though, to use this car park for the year. Because hmm. just literally, where we've driven up to get in the car park, that's all free parking. All along there, right round by the lighthouse, all past the shops, all the way up there, that is all free parking. And that seagull literally, look, he's just dropped one there. Yeah, that is all free parking up there. So, like I say, we're only parking here because we're never going to get away with it today. Because like I say, we're only fishing there. So, right, let's get the gear out of the car, let's get up there, let's get set up, and let's get some fishing done. Right, all set up, about to do the first cast. Grant and Lee and that cast out, Jordan's just throwing one out now. So, on this right hand side, I'm doing my usual, I've got a pulley panel on there, whole squid. I'm going to throw that out, only 20, 30 yards, I don't go out too far off the pier, because there normally is a few snags out there. And on the left hand side, I've got a two hook flapper, and we've got some of the blacks on there. And I'm just literally going to drop the blacks, just literally down the side of the wall anything swimming along there. Right, let's get these in the water. Right, and that's that one out. So like I say, this left hand one, literally, just down on the wall. Yeah, anything that's swimming along that wall, that's gonna grab that. And this one I've thrown out to the right hand side. Oh, what's the time? What time have we started fishing? It is now 
Right, it's 20 to 10. High tide was half seven this morning, so the tide is on its way out. And it's a bit chilly. It's a bit of a fresh one, which is good, but you feel a bit of heat coming off the sun, warming it up a little bit. But they say it might get rain later as well, so I've got I've got my waterproof jacket on, and I've got some waterproof trousers in the car, so if we do get a bit of rain, so uh, yeah, let's keep an eye on these rods, and hopefully we can get something out. Well, still uh, still quiet at the moment. Oh, just made myself a nice cup of tea. Rods have been out for about 20 minutes, something like that, so I reeled them in, checked the bait. Bait's absolutely untouched. Nothing was touched on the squid, and the worm's still on the hooks, absolutely nothing. Jordan had a little, the rod knocked a little while ago, just a little quiver on the top. And then that went quiet. Other than that, no one has had a bite as yet, no one's caught anything. So, at least it's not going to be one of those annoying days with non-stop whiting all day. But obviously we do want to get bring something out. The sun is absolutely glaring, and I mean glaring. So we've had the, uh, yeah, we've had to put the old shades on. I can't even see, I'm looking out and I'm literally squinting, there was water in my eyes. So I think Carl's got his and Lee's got his, everyone's got their sunglasses on at the moment. I'll say a nice cup of tea, keep me warm. And like I say, I think it's gonna be a bit of a slow day. But I think it's about four degrees today, something like that, four or five degrees. And literally you've got Galston Beach down there, where we are on the pier. So we're looking down, that's all Galston Beach along there. There's been one or two codling called Galston Beach. And obviously right the other side of that is Yarmouth, and there's been one or two codling caught on Yarmouth. So they are about right down in the distance, you've got lowest off wind turbine, and just before that is Colton. That's where we've been the last few weeks on the beach. We just fancy something different today. We're normally beach fishing and we just fancy something a little bit different, so we thought oh, we'd all just come up the pier, do a little bit, see what's going on. So Guaz brought the radio with him today, so we've got Christmas songs playing. Well, we've only got three weeks, I think, something like that. So we've got some Christmas songs playing in the background. And yeah, oh, I hope I'm the first to get a fish out. I like catching first when I'm with the boys. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? But let's just see. I just hope someone catches, really. End of the day, as long as someone catches, so it's going to be a slow one, but fingers crossed. Well, we think Lee might be the first one to actually get sound out today. No, nah. no definitely not, though, didn't it? Yeah, look, one of yeah, look your top bait's gone off there. What you got on there, squid? squid? Top one's gone. Oh, I thought that was it then. I thought Lee was going to be the first. I thought Lee was the first. Well, I'll just reel mine in. My bit of squid on the right is untouched. I had a little bit of worm stripped down and a little bit left on there, so I'm going to put some fresh worm back on there, throw that back out. And uh, I thought he was going to catch that. And then no one is still caught. It's coming up to about half ten now, so we've been here an hour. And no one's had anything out. Right, let's get the bait back in the water. Right, half past eleven. Still no one has had a fish out. I've changed tactics a little bit. I've still got the two hook flapper out on the left with the uh, frozen blacks on there. Right hand side, I had the pulley panel with the whole squid. I've bought that in. I've put a two hook flapper on there. And I've gone back out with squid, but just little, just little bits we through the hook as opposed to one massive giant bit. Two little bits of squid on there. Two bits of black on the left. Uh, I was having like a couple, only a few yards out. But that one on the left now with the worm, I've actually thrown it out about 50, 60 yards out. So try a bit of distance, try a bit of different depth. Just keep trying something until something comes along. But as of yet, none of us have had a bite out. There's two guys right on the end of the pier up there. I've not seen them reel anything in. We've got a couple down there. Again, I've not seen them bring anything in. So it's a very quiet day at the moment. A couple of seals about. So they're obviously scaring the fish off, but if the seals are about, they're obviously, there's obviously fish there, all the seals wouldn't be there. They're obviously there to eat the fish. So, I don't know, it's just gonna be one of those days, a tough days fishing. So just be grateful to get anything out. Like I say, last week on the beach, inundated with whiting, so much so they were doing your head in. And today, you're sort of praying for a decent whiting to come out. So, I'll say half 11, sun keeps going in. When that sun goes in, oh mate, it's absolutely bitter. We're all wrapped up. I've got the uh, got my thick jacket on, I've got my hat on now. I've got a hoodie on, t shirt, I've got thermal leggings on underneath my trousers and that. So, trying to keep warm. Thermal socks, <laughs> I think it's about four degrees today. Oh, just 
fingers crossed, just keep watching those rods and hopefully one of us gets something out. Well, I just took a little, uh, just took a little walk to the car, getting my waterproof trousers out. It's starting to spit a little bit now. Sun's gone in, temperature has dropped. It's absolutely bitter up here at the moment, absolutely bitter. Just chatting to the couple down there. They said they were here like a couple of days ago and they said again, like whiting all day long on the pier. All day long. And they said for some reason, yeah, absolutely blanking today. Absolutely blanking, but yeah, camera's gonna go. If that rain gets a bit heavy, I'll put the camera away. I ain't got a waterproof case of it or nothing today. So I'll put the camera away, but yeah, got to be waterproof to nothing worse. Once you get wet, that's it. Especially when it's cold like this as well. Oh God, you'll actually be shivering all day. So yeah, if we get a bit of rain, put the waterproofs on, keep yourself nice and dry. Oh, that right hand rod, that right hand rod is flickering a little bit. I don't know whether that's a bit of crab movement down there. Oh, I don't know. It's not like it's not biting, biting. It's just quivering a little bit on the tip. Don't know if that's saying having a little play about with a bait or whether there's a crab down there having a little play about. Well, I'll keep an eye on it. If it looks like a definite bite, I'll strike that, bring that in, and hopefully be the first person to get a fish off. Because like I say, no one has caught absolutely anything yet. Well, I doubt, I doubt this camera's going to pick this guy up, yeah, but trust me, yeah, the, the temperature has dropped, the rain has started, but yeah. Got me fucking hood on, me hat on, hood up, jacket, waterproof, boots, yeah. There's a guy out there, or not, I kid you not, on a surfboard. I kid you not. He got his surfboard out on the beach, started paddling, paddling, paddling. Oh my god, what's that geezer doing over there? We've got a geezer doing a workout, look. What is going on up here today? We've got a guy over there doing press ups on a bench. We've got a guy out there, it's like four degrees, and he's on a surfboard. And we're all standing here wrapped up like it's the end of the world. No one's caught a fish yet. What is going on in Gorston today? What is going on? Can't believe that guy. I've got no zoom on this camera, so I doubt I don't even know if the camera's picking him up. He's literally It's like a paddle board, he's standing up, he's got a paddle and he's paddling out. He's mad than he got to be absolutely mad that wall was absolutely freezing <sighs> oh, rather room than me that's all I can say what well, we think what might be on it knocked and we sort of watched it and then it knocked again if he is he's gonna be if he is he's gonna be the first person to catch <laughs> no, no, is it? Come on, go on, come on, have a fish, mate. No. no nah, nothing. Oh, oh, right. Sam's so tugged that uh, bait off the bottom, though. Look, the bottom hook's been. Yeah. I thought that was in then. I thought Grant was going to start us off. Unlucky, G, unlucky. Oh, we all thought that was in with definite knock, definite knock. And then we watched it and it sort of went quiet and then all of a sudden a couple of seconds later, bang, knocked again. Struck it, reeled it in. Oh, hopefully that's a little sign now. Hopefully the fish is starting to Hopefully the fish is starting to bite a little bit. Matey down there is reeling in. Like I said, I spoke to him a little while ago. He said he was down there, I think it was yesterday the day before. And he said they were getting quite a few whiting out. Those two guys out there on them surfboards, they're yeah, just making me, I don't know. We don't get wrong, it looks like good fun. They're, they're using the paddle balls to paddle out, and then when they're going in, oh, here we go, we're on, we're on. We're on. Oh, is that a bite then? Definitely not. Yeah, oh, we're on. Bass. Yeah, 
Bass. Bass, isn't it? Yeah. Look here. See if it tastes like bass. What bass? Take it home. <laughs> there you are. First person to catch all day. And we've got ourselves a little bass foot. A little schoolie. On the squid he took as well. Watch them spines. Look, little schoolie bass on the squid. Right, let's get him off and we're getting back in. We we ain't blanked. Hey! <laughs> One for the video, Dave. <laughs> hey, one for the video. <laughs> right, let's get him off again. But look at a smile on my face now. Look, oh, the, the rain and everything don't matter now. Right, let's get him off while he's still alive. We're getting back in. Oh yes, we're off. Oi, oh, we're the second one to catch. Little dab out. Oh, he's taking that hook right down as well, isn't he? Hey, little dab, at least you ain't blank one. Yeah, little dab a do ya. Little dab a do ya. <laughs> little dab a do ya, mate. That's alright. It's just the rest of the boys then. Oh, that's alright though, isn't it? So I've had that, I've had that little schoolie out. Got just had a little dab out. The other couple that were there, they've packed up, they've gone. Like I say, I'm not really surprised, man. The weather is absolutely like, grip my finger. I keep putting my gloves on, but I've got to keep taking my gloves off to change bait. So I've got two hook flapper out on that side, two hook flapper out on that side, and I've got a little bit of squid on each now, because that bass went for the squid, I've just stuck to squid now. So I've got two little bits on that, two little bits on that. I don't know what we'll go on and call that dab on. But at least he's caught, at least he hasn't blanked. Still got the surfers out there, I've been watching them. Joe, what, they actually look like they're having quite a good time out there. There's some pretty, uh, pretty big waves there, they're riding in on. Rain's coming over again. Rain's on and off, but we knew we knew the rain was going to be on and off today. We did check the weather forecast. But like I say, it just makes a change being on the pier. Like, like I say, the last couple of months we've been out, we've been non-stop down on the beach, beach fishing. Just makes a change, doesn't it? Nice and close by. Like I say, the cars there, I can see the car where I'm standing. We're only here, not too far to bring all the gear. Don't even need a tripod here. Do you know what I mean? The rods are against the side. It's all like over the years isn't it everyone's cut little notches out the side so you can rest all the rods on there nice easy days fishing right let's just hopefully though get something else out oh right gone very very quiet again since Grant had that dab out about an hour ago it's quarter past one now it's about 15 minutes to low water right just going to get these back out so two hook flap on this side we've literally got a squid on there nice bit hanging off as well that be in the water like so hopefully attract something and then on this side we've gone for a bit of a cocktail bat on this side so i put some uh some of the blacks on and then tipped it with a nice bit of squid on the end same there bit of black bit of squid so that's that's how long my snoods are so i'm gonna try this for a little bit if that don't work i might put sand on with a bit longer i've got some traces made up with some twice the length of that snoods so I might try that, see if that can attract something. So all you could do, just keep chopping, changing, chopping, changing. Uh, I'm starting to give it a little bit of distance. Well, not too much distance, but I'm sort of out roughly where the uh, where that bass came in from last time. So let's get this in the water. Right, that's it. They're out there. Like I say, I ain't sort of flung them out, flung them out like too far, but I've given them a little bit of, a little bit of a distance. So just squid on that side, 
and uh, cocktail boat on that side. We've got squid and blacks on that side. Uh, the surf for dudes, they've gone. I think they've called it a day. Don't blame them. That water must be absolutely bitter. It must be absolutely bitter out there. So everyone's keeping an eye on everyone still leaves out there at the moment. Grant's out, Jordan's cast out. Just gone very quiet. So hopefully, like I say, 15 minutes is low water. So hopefully by about two o'clock, tide should be on the way, sort of coming in on the turn. Hopefully when it's on the turn and it's coming in, hopefully it can bring bring a few fish in with it as it comes in. But all we could do is just keep trying, keep putting the bait in the water and keep trying. Something's got to come out. Sand, well, I say so. At least I'm blanked. I did get that little scooty bass, but I want to get something a bit better than that. Even a dogfish should do me now off here. I've had a nice dogfish off here in the winter once before, a couple of years ago. Get a few little dogfish, but I had a nice sized dogfish off here. So something like that would do me. Oh, well, I think I'm going to make a cup of tea, warm myself up a bit, and keep an eye on them rods. Right, I think that left hand side, I think I might be on. That was the cocktail bait, that was the worm and a little bit of squid on the end. It's quiet at the moment, but I'm watching it and every now and then it just keeps having that little... So if there is something on there, I don't think it's going to be a great size. But I'm going to read it in anyway, because check the bait. If something's been messing around down there, it might have stripped the bait off. So we'll have a little look. We'll bring it in, we'll have a little look. Definitely, definitely seemed like Sam's having a little go of it, but bait's all untouched and everything. Oh, I ain't lying though, it's starting to get, how cold are your hands now, Jordan? Freezing, isn't it? It's getting better. I'll keep putting my gloves on, but then sometimes like you reel in and check the bait, you've got to keep taking your gloves off. But yeah, it's definitely a fresh day, that's for sure. Definitely a fresh one. Right, here we go, that rain is coming in. That sky over there is dark as dark can be. We've been watching it getting nearer and nearer and nearer and nearer. And that's it. So we've got, got my hood up now, got my waterproof hood up, waterproof jacket, waterproof leggings, boots. Hopefully this passes. We just said we're only going to fish till three o'clock. I think it's about 20 past two now. We're going to give it till three and then we're going to start packing up. So 40 minutes, this last 40 minutes, let's hope for the best. Right, that is going to be the last cast of the day. It's about 20 to 3, so we've got about 20 minutes we're going to pack up. Uh, the fellow that was fishing on the end there, he had some ragworm left over. So he's just given us a little bit of rag. So we literally, he's, he's been, he said he's had a few whiting out. We haven't had any whiting between us. So we've all put a little bit of rag, everyone I think we've all put a bit of ragworm on. Cast them out, last cast of the day. Let's try and get something out just before we go home. The rain's eased off. But I'm not even joking, I know I've got my gloves and I keep putting them on and my hands are absolutely frozen, my fingers are numb, I can't even, I can't, I can't feel anything. Do you put a bit of ragworm on Lee? Do you no, put, right. you didn't put a ragworm on, no? No. Oh, I thought we all tried a bit. No. Oh, well, he's thinking, what you got on your squid? Squid. Yeah, he's sticking to the squid. So like I say, try a little bit of that ragworm, see if it can produce something. 
going to be the last cast for the day. I'm going to start packing all up now. I've got quite a bit of squid left over, so I'm going to put that in a carry bag. I've got a few of those blacks left over. They were frozen anyway, so I'll put them in the carry bag. They can go in the freezer when I get indoors, and that gives me a bit more bait for next time. So, fingers crossed on this last cast. Oh, mate, right. Well, that was it. That was my last cast. I'm going to reel these in now. The one on the left is twitching around a little bit, but I don't think there's anything on there. I think it's just a little bit of wind and a bit of sea movement. You never know, fingers crossed, might be saying a little on there. Right, let's pull this one on the left in, pull the one on the right in, and see what's on there. And then I'm gonna start packing the rods down then. Like I say, it's three o'clock, we're gonna call it a day. Let's get these in, let's have a little look. Nothing on there. Absolutely nothing. Right, let's start getting these back down. That they're all reeling in now. Lee's reeling in, Grant's reeling in, Jordan's bringing his in. So, uh, yeah, let's get these packed down. Right, so that is it. In the car. How cold are you, Jordan? Very cold. Cold. Freezing. All packed up. Born and that just pulled off. Everything's loaded up. We're just about to leave. So, all oh, it's been a good day. Do you know what I mean? Would have been better. A few more fish. Jordan would have preferred to have got a fish. Would have been nice. But it was alright and it we got out and about. It was a cold one, but there you go, that's how it is. So right, once again, if you're watching this video and it's the kind of thing you like and you're sort of into, then just hit that subscribe button. Uh, you'll get notifications then of any future videos that are coming up. Like I said earlier, to all the people that have subscribed recently, absolutely awesome. It's really starting to push my numbers up. So the more people that are subscribed and the more thumbs up I get then the more people actually get to view the videos it comes up on their on their uh, sort of feed so so yeah there you go so I think we're planning another trip I think a couple of weeks now I've got five days off work so we're going to sort of plan something for around about then so yeah a couple of weeks time we'll see you again all right have a good one guys and see you on the next video